Basils Physics Classroom. Now a common question that I get almost every single day from my students is, Sir, which are the most important chapters that we have to go through to attain a good score in NEET entrance examination? And let me make myself very clear to you, there is no chapter-wise weightage or anything for the NEET entrance examination. But based on an analysis of the last five years, I have actually put together a weightage system which you can expect in NEET 2020. And it's strictly based on the last five years analysis. So let's see what are the most important chapters in physics. As you can see on the screen right now, I have taken previous five NEET papers. In 2016, I have taken two papers because there were two exams held there here, phase one and phase two. Then 2017, 2018, and 2019 paper. I have also taken the average number of questions asked per chapter. As you can see, there is a criteria I have given there. The red color goes for most important chapters and the orange color for second priority chapters and the sky blue color for consistent chapters and the violet for third priority chapter. Now the most important chapters, as you can see from the screeners, one, work energy power, System of particles and rotational motion, thermal properties of matter, current electricity, moving charges and magnetism, ray optics and optical instruments, and semiconductors. Now, these are the very most important chapters that you have to take care of. But along with these most important chapters, you should never forget about sky blue colors. What is that? The consistent one. Consistent in the sense, questions have been coming from these chapters consistently, which means you can expect a question from this chapter for sure. Okay, so as you can see, units and dimensions, laws of motion, gravitation, mechanical properties of fluids, thermodynamics, kinetic theory, magnetism and matter, electromagnetic induction. Electromagnetic waves, wave optics, dual nature of matter and radiation, atoms, and nuclei all fall into this category of consistent chapters. So, along with the most important chapters, make sure that you learn the consistent chapters also. So, for example, without laws of motion, you cannot actually do the questions from any other chapters. So, along with the most important chapters, give importance to the consistent chapters also. Using the orange color, I have marked the second priority chapter. And as you can see, oscillations, waves, electric charges and fields, electrostatic potential and capacitance come in the second category, second priority chapter. And the third priority chapters are motion in a straight line, motion in a plane, alternating current. These have been assigned wild color and they are the third priority chapters. So make sure that along with the most important chapters I have listed there, you learn the consistent chapters also. So once you do that, you're almost set to score something around. If you are prepared correctly, if you are prepared efficiently, 30 to 35 questions correct. So from that, very one thing is very clear by learning the most important chapters, and those chapters which can categorize into the consistent category, you will be able to score something in the range of 30 to 35 questions. So by learning at least the most important and the consistent chapters, you are going to be able to score good emphasis. But if you get sufficient time, make sure you go to the second priority and the third priority chapters also. Okay. I hope this is clear for you. So all the best for your success in the examination. And in case you have any doubts, you can comment below. I'll be very happy to help you out. And thank you.